Hey, it's Anne-Marie and welcome to another 30 Days to Distinction tip, which is part of the 30 Days to Distinction Challenge, where every day for 30 days, I am sharing a tip to help you become distinguishable, uncopyable and irresistible so that when your ideal client is ready to make a choice, you are the choice versus just a choice. So this is tip number 19, which is one of seven tips as part of this challenge, where we look at different ways of coming up with unique and uncopyable content that is going to stand out from the same old, same old that everyone else in your industry is sharing. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, and I'm going to keep confirming This is especially important for a change maker, for you, who wants to position themselves as a trusted authority in your industry so that you can become the choice versus just a choice, so that you can position yourself for opportunities, whether they be speaking, whether they be a a, a podcast guest. You ready? As I mentioned yesterday in tip number 18, as someone who is looking to build your thought leadership, be mindful of the tactics that you follow as you continue to build your reputation as a trusted authority because it matters. You don't want to follow hack this and hack that visibility tactics. Rather, focus on the knowledge and the wisdom, the longevity in your industry that only you can bring to the conversation through your years of knowledge and experience. So yesterday we talked about one particular tip, which is to address the BS. And today we're going to talk about another one, and that is expose the elephant in the room. Expose the elephant in the room for your specific industry. So what's an elephant? Well, an elephant can be a mistruth or it can be a mistake that your ideal clients are not even aware of. And perhaps it's something that other service providers in your industry are still teaching, or they don't even know that this is important as well. So what you need to do is to start speaking about it. You need to start exposing it. You need to start bringing it to the airwaves. You need to start bringing it to the comprehension and the understanding of your ideal client, that it is even there, that it is even something that's keeping them stuck. Because so many of your ideal clients have no idea why they're stuck and because it very well may be that they're trying to adopt a principle or follow a tactic that is an elephant in the room. It's, it's a mistruth or it's no longer relevant. So share what your ideal client should be doing instead. Now, let me give you an example. One of the elephants in the room for me when it comes to helping businesses start their podcast is the fixation on the number of downloads that their podcast is getting. Now, I'm sure you've heard the term vanity numbers where people can get caught up on the number of likes and shares and how many followers that they have. And when it comes to podcasting, it's the number of downloads typically. So instead of focusing on vanity numbers, I encourage people to focus on building reputation equity because, as I say, reputation equity is bankable, whereas vanity numbers are not. What do I mean when I say reputation equity is bankable? Well, this entire 30 Days to Distinction Challenge covers important insights and tips on how to build your reputation as a trusted authority, how to stand out and cut through the noise how to build your visibility and influence. And when you've got a reputation of bringing valuable insights and a reputation of delivering results, people will hire you when they're ready. It was building reputation equity with my podcast, The Ambitious Entrepreneur Show, that saw several people message me and ask if I would consider selling my podcast after I announced that I was stopping production. Now, that's the reputation that I had built over many years for that podcast, and it would have compelled people to reach out and inquire whether I would even consider consider selling it. Now, if I had built its reputation, I'm sure no one would have even been interested and let alone reached out. That's what I'm talking about, the value of building reputation equity rather than focusing on vanity numbers, which is an elephant in the room that I address. So now it's your turn. What elephants in the room can you address when it comes to your industry? 
go ahead and begin journaling some ideas in your take action guide because exposing the elephant in the room along with the other things that I'm going to be sharing in the tips we've now covered too will really help you create a distinguishable content for your ideal clients. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. Now, if you haven't already downloaded the Take Action Guide, you can access it over at industrythoughtleaderacademy.com forward slash distinction. So tomorrow I'll be back with another 30 days to distinction tip. I'll see you tomorrow. 